The following is part of an Ascension class offered through the Energetic Synthesis website. This class is devoted entirely to the indigo races. The following recited text is taken from the PDF overview that comes with this indigo Ascension class. And in it, uh, Lisa explains the different typings of indigo souls. Now, this information was received as a download through her experience with the Guardian host. And I will leave a link to the class in the description if you're interested in purchasing it. Now, you can purchase this class for only $1. It contains the class itself, an indigo activation meditation track, and the aforementioned PDF overview. Now, this is an incredible amount of valuable content for such a low price. I highly recommend it, especially if you are called yourself to embody global stewardship. Now, as a disclaimer, as always, I share this with the intent of helping and empowering, not for my own ego glorification. Indigo Type 1, The Grid Workers Indigo types in the first category are generally experts in working with the larger matrices of the planetary energy fields called ley lines. These ley lines are also known as having axiotonal line points and are comprised of a global energy matrix field for the planetary life force. This is a webwork of energy by which the scalar wave frequencies of the core planetary grid is directed into use for the planet. These energies are also translated into the various planetary chakras and other vortices of which hold various levels of the planetary life force. They are also the transmission points to receive and store stellar activations of frequency and to anchor those transmissions into the planetary body. Since we are in an aggressive frequency activation cycle, this affects the balance of the planetary grid and its many energy tributaries in the ley lines. These indigos can transmit energy, frequency, or light codes to further rebalance certain planet vortices or key points on the planetary grid. They will be led to hold groups and to create large amounts of available light codes and frequency to heal or rebalance these ley lines. Many of these indigos will be led to travel extensively and will find themselves in many countries or spaces in short periods of time. This will occur naturally if it is a part of the soul's contract. This will emerge and become clear as you align to your highest soul purpose. Many indigo ones have contracts with certain land demographics and are holding specific codes for the planet precisely for this time of ascension, for its frequency activation. These codes are transmitted from the indigo's personal energy field and anchored into the appropriate areas when they are called upon to be of service. Sometimes these indigos will be fully conscious when in this process or not. The bottom line is, if you find yourself traveling to many different places on the planet this year and forward, you have this contract. Your higher self will be working on these particular projects even as you are asleep. If you resonate with this for you personally, ask to be directed by your evolution teams and that you wish to be interactive in working with the planetary energies consciously. This group will be largely responsible for working with the new frequency hubs in a variety of ways, particularly in coming together to build and create conscious or intentional communities of indigos 
and all multidimensional beings stationed in various areas on the planet. These new communities will be a wellspring of new education and awareness of creating integrative, sustainable living in harmony with nature. Other communities will be the cosmic stations for our interstellar connections and will begin a new portal of communication with our extended star families. They will be communities created with high level of available frequency that will render them as safe zones. These safe zones will repel levels of density or the actions of cause and effect from the 3D world. You will be internally guided to be in these areas during any possible planet climate shifts or a cataclysm. Listen and cultivate your higher sensory perception as this will emerge from your feeling or intuitive body. Do not worry as this will happen effortlessly and easily as you merge with your soul plan. Indigo Type 2 The Human DNA Healers The Indigo 2s are specifically working to regenerate and activate the human DNA templates to its highest potential. This will be the group of healers, the energy transmitters, working directly in the healing arts in some way. Each one has a specific gift of healing tools, light codes, to assist humans in healing distortions embedded in the physical and energetic bodies. These distortions have been created and inherited from the karmic patterning resulting from all the incarnating evolutionary cycles. Also, at this time of acceleration, it is required for some humans undergoing the ascension process to be assisted with etheric surgery. Etheric surgery is a new term for a new group of facilitators emerging to work on the multidimensional anatomy by supporting the natus system or other layers of the auric field. The natus system is the electrical nervous plexus that receives and transmits the new frequencies being absorbed into the entire individual energy matrix and the cellular body. It acts as an energetic switchboard for the entire bioenergy field. The natus system is located at the etheric template layer of the energy bodies and may need to be upgraded in order to be calibrated easily to the new energies introduced to the personal field. This rewiring occurs to hold the new resonant frequencies in the individual's body with minimum discomfort. This will be a new career as one of the many new healing modalities surfacing at this time. Many of these indigos are the teachers of the new energy and will emerge to discuss openly about the ascension process and its meaning for the evolution of the human species. Some will be recruited to create wellness centers with various holistic healing technologies based on spiritual energetic principles. These groups are the bridge between the old energy world and the new energy world. They are the way showers for embodying the principle of unification and integration and serving as the example of how to live in harmony with all things. They will teach by being this example. Indigo Type 3 The Polarity Integrators These are the Polarity Integrators. These groups of indigos have a very challenging task indeed. We need to honor these beloved ones with the gift they bring humanity. Indigo 3s are soul essences that are assisting in the evolution of the less evolved, often aggressive soul with whom they may share within the same body. They are incarnating in this way to heal the vast levels of distortion between a genetically enhanced soul and a less evolved soul. This way, as they integrate these two extreme soul aspects within the same bioenergy field, 
they are creating the unification of these two poles that allow a template for polarity integration. This template, when created in this realm, can then more easily heal and unify the love and fear polarities. This is a way to fully integrate the levels of mental emotional polarity humans have experienced for many time cycles. Over time, these levels of imbalance created huge amounts of karmic patterning held within the bodies of all humans, including the planetary body. Also, these indigo level soul contracts were needed as the human lineage has experienced great levels of pain and fear resulting from the original separation imprint from Source. This pain and fear over many evolutionary cycles created distortion in the cellular memory of the planet and within all of the collective consciousness. Additionally, there has been genetic manipulation or hybridization that has created damage to the divine human's 12-strand DNA blueprint within certain soul groups. As we journey back into the light in this ascension cycle, this soul purpose helps assist the planet in dissolving the fear and its related distortions into the higher vibrations of love. In some indigo threes, the huge chasm between the two soul essences sharing the same body sometimes disrupts the natural balance of the bioenergy field. These two or more soul essences may create a conflict within the DNA instruction template that disrupts or limits certain physical functioning. This then can manifest in the physical body as imbalances in the neurotransmitters of the brain and the endocrine system. The endocrine system is our glandular system, which is responsible for secreting hormones into our bloodstream to normalize certain bodily functions. Everything within the body system of metabolic regulation is due to hormonal production from our glandular system. These hormonal or chemical disruptions in the body can create intermittent or chronic extremes of mental and or emotional detachment from the 3D reality. In the more severe cases of this chemical disruption, impairments of the brain and other physical neurological functions become evident. In recent years, we have seen a huge acceleration of cases of childhood autism, ADD, and other learning or behavioral disorders. These soul groups are largely indigo threes. Some of us may identify with all of these aspects of indigo typing. These are usually the spiritually developed souls that have ambitious contracts of planetary leadership. Many times a soul will have come into experience this level of mastery on the physical plane in order to have greater impact on human development during this time. Many of us can evolve and grow into these new contracts in this lifetime, as the spiritual masters are always cultivating new representatives of themselves for the physical plane. We are stepping up in the evolutionary scale to be the ascended masters embodied in the physical. We are the externalization of the spiritual hierarchy here on earth. That time is here for all of us now.